Okay, you're not gonna What's going on guys? The name's Sav and this video it's just kind of a 30 and 30 and 6 I think but it's not about the gameplay. Um, I'm really excited right now. Today is my first official college baseball practice. Um, so naturally I'm excited. Uh, ever since I picked up a baseball, I've dreamed about playing in college, playing at the next level, and then, I mean, obviously the MLB, but that's realistically, that's not gonna happen. But I did make it to college, and today is our first practice as a team, so needless to say, I'm excited for that. And we just got the rosters put out. Um, I got my number. Well, I didn't get the number I wanted, but I know what my number is for the next four years. And I'm going to be number 31. But I didn't get the 20, 26 like I wanted. Uh, there's a pitcher that's a sophomore this year that had it last year because he got his number taken. And I tried to talk him out of keeping the number and letting me have it, but he wasn't he wasn't going for it. He's He's keeping 26, so... I'm just kind of looking at it as a fresh new start, clean slate, um, kind of put all my past behind me, um, I had some stuff in high school that just, I'm glad that I'm going to be able to put behind me now, and um, I'm just looking forward to the future. But another reason I just found out um, that I wanted the number 26, but I mean, I know I can't have it, but um, 26, I, well, let me, let me give you the background story. Uh, my grandpa on my dad's side, I think it's his second cousin, uh, played in the major leagues. And he was actually a catcher. He had Hall of Fame caliber numbers and everything, but he never got voted for for the Hall of Fame. He never really got put on any ballots. Everybody just kind of overlooked him. Uh, he won, I think, two World Series. And his real claim to fame was actually something that I don't think any other catcher's ever done. And if there has been, there's only been maybe one or two others that have done it. Uh, I never really checked to see. But what he did was um, he caught no hitter. He caught no hitters on two consecutive days. So like one day his pitcher that game threw a no hitter and they won like one to nothing. And then the very next day they had another game and they won two to nothing. I think and that pitcher for the second game threw a no-hitter too and he caught both games all the way through so that's that's really fucking awesome in my opinion um, and then the other thing that he's known for um, I mean he played for like 21 seasons or some or I think it's 15 I think he played for 15 yeah 15 seasons and he caught over 2100 games and that record that was the record until Pudge Rodriguez came along. And I think he, somewhere in the late 90s, early 2000s, he took over the record. Um, so that's something really cool. And once I knew I wasn't going to get 26 after I talked to the pitcher, that's a sophomore, um, I was just kind of searching, um, you know, looking up on Hank, trying to find what jersey number he wore when he played in the MLB so I could wear his number. But I come, came to find out that he played from 1911 to 1926, and the first game ever to be played with jerseys on the uniforms in the MLB was in 1929. So he never had a jersey number, but I don't know if you heard me, he retired in 1926. So that was just another reason I wanted 26, and... I mean, it's it's some cool facts. Uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys, but uh, I'll post a link to the roster and I'll uh, give you guys name. It's Hank Severide. I'll put it in the description too, so you guys can search him and like just kind of look up on him, see for yourselves that I'm not making it up. I mean, I don't know why people would want to make that up, but anyways, um, the other thing I found out recently too, um, I found out my destiny. <laughs> And I say this half jokingly, well, I'm fully jokingly, because I know I'm not going to play for the majors, in the majors, but um, my birthday is actually on the anniversary of the Curse of the Billy Goat. 
And I'm a Cubs fan for life. I always will be. Um, I don't know if you guys know what the curse of the billy goat is, but there was one day, I don't remember what year it was. I want to say 1945, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, Billy Sienis bought two tickets to a Cubs game, one for himself and one for his pet billy goat. I mean, he paid for the seat. The seat was the billy goats for that game. But once, you know, security and everybody at Wrigley found out that there's a billy goat inside the stadium, uh, they kind of had a little red flag like, uh, maybe we should get him out of here. So they escorted him out of the stadium. And while they were walking Billy and his goat out of the stadium, Billy Sienis said, the Cubs ain't never going to win another World Series. And since that day, the Cubs have never been to a World Series. So, you know, it's my destiny. I was born on the anniversary of that day, so my destiny as I see it. I'm going to get drafted by the Cubs. I'm going to be number 26, and I'm going to win a World Series for the Cubs on my birthday because, you know, the World Series is in October, so. But I think it's later October, so I'll, right after I turn 26, let's say, after the year I turn 26, I'm going to win a World Series for the Cubs wearing 26 on my jersey. But um, this game's over. It's 30-6. and six. Um, Name seven. I'm out. Peace.